एवरीवन माय नेम इज आस्था चौहान वेलकम टू दी ट्यूटोरियल्स पॉइंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड ऑल अबाउट दी के एन एन एल्गोरिथम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिसीजन ट्री सो लेट्स सी व्हाट्स इन फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिसीजन ट्री प्रॉब्लम्स दैट डिसीजन ट्री कैन सॉल्व सम इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स ऑफ डिसीजन ट्री हाउ डस अ डिसीजन ट्री वर्क and what are the advantages and disadvantages of decision tree so first what is decision tree decision tree is nothing but a tree shaped diagram used to determine a course of action it's quite similar to our day to day life decisions uh, let's understand this with this example in this we have to predict whether the person is fit or not so at the first stage we are determining the age of the person whether it is less than 30 or more than 30 If it's less than thirty, then does the person eats a lot of pizzas? If yes, then the person is unfit. And if no, then the person is fit. If the age of the person is greater than thirty, then does the person exercises in the morning? If yes, then the person is fit. And if no, then the person is not fit. Next is what kind of problems decision tree can solve? So there are two kinds of problems that decision tree can solve. First is classification and second is regression a classification tree will determine a set of logical if then condition to classify the problems for example discriminating fruits based on some certain features while regression tree is used when the target variable is numerical or continuous in nature we fit a regression model to the target variable using each of the independent variables Now let's discuss some important terms of decision tree. First is root node. Root node we can say that the first node of the tree that represents the entire population or the sample is called the root node. Leaf or terminal node. We can say that the nodes that do not split further are called leaf node or terminal node and also leaf node carries the final conclusion or decision in the tree. Next is entropy. Entropy is the measure of randomness or unpredictability in the data set. From the diagram, we can observe that the at the first stage there is high randomness. That means its entropy is high. Next is information gain, and it is the measure of decrease in entropy after the data set is split. Again, from the same diagram, we can observe that after the split, the randomness of the data set. decreases that means its entropy decreased and the information gain after the split is higher now let's understand how does a decision tree work the decision of making strategic splits heavily affects a tree's accuracy and also the decision criteria for regression and classification are different decision tree uses multiple algorithms to decide to split nodes into two or more sub nodes and the creation of sub nodes increases the homogeneity of the resultant sub nodes or in the other words we can say that the purity of nodes increases with respect to the target variables the decision tree splits the nodes on all available variables and then selects the split which results in most homogeneous node there is one more term which is important that is attribute selection measure If the data set consists of n attributes then deciding which attribute to place at the root or at any different label as the internal node is a complicated step so just by randomly selecting any node to be the root can't solve any problem so for that we have different methods and some of them are entropy information gain and gini index so let's discuss these three in detail Let's discuss the entropy first. Entropy is the measure of randomness in the information being processed. The higher the entropy, the harder it is to draw any conclusion from the information. We can observe from this graph also for the probability of an event when it is zero or one, the entropy is lowest. That is zero. And for the highest randomness, that means the probability is zero point five. the entropy is highest that is 1 now let's discuss the mathematical representation of the entropy and before diving into that i want you to note that you don't have to memorize all this mathematics as it will be taken care of while we are using the python scripts 
So mathematically, entropy of S is represented as sigma i is equals to 1 to c minus pi log base 2 pi, where S is the current state and pi is the probability of the event i of state S. So using this mathematical representation, we calculate the entropy of play golf for this data set is coming out 0 0.94. Now, the mathematical representation of entropy of T for any attribute X is represented as sigma C belongs to X PC EC. And using this representation, the entropy of playing golf for attribute outlook is coming out 0 0.69, where T is the current state and X is the selected attribute. Now next is information gain. Information gain is a statistical property that measures how well a given attribute separates the training examples according to their target classification. Constructing a decision tree is all about finding an attribute that returns the highest information gain and lowest entropy. Now let's see the mathematical representation of the information gain. As I told you before also, information gain is the decrease in entropy. So mathematically, it is represented as entropy before minus sigma j is equals to 1 to k entropy j after, where before is the data set before is split, k is the number of subset and j is a subset after the split. So for the previous example, the information gain of play golf for attribute outlook is coming out 0.247. Now, let's talk about the Gini index. You can understand the Gini index as a cost function used to evaluate splits in the data set. And it is calculated by subtracting the sum of squared probabilities of each class from 1. And it performs only on binary splits. Now, what are the advantages of decision tree? First is simple to understand, interpret, and visualize. Little efforts required for data preparation and it can handle both numerical and categorical data. Non-linear parameters don't affect its performance. Now, what are the disadvantages of decision tree? Overfitting occurs when the algorithm captures noise in the data, high variance. The model can get unstable due to small variation in data. Low bias, a highly complicated decision tree tends to have a low bias which make it difficult for the model to work with new data. So that was it for this video. We have already covered the supervised machine learning algorithm, KNN algorithm, decision tree in this video. And in the next video, we are going to discuss about linear regression and rest all the machine learning algorithms in further videos. So stay tuned with tutorials points. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.